Welcome back, it's Zachary with Backyard DIY. Uh, yesterday we were driving and uh, well first of all this video is going to be about checking uh, hung up caliper, how to tell if you have one, how to fix it or if you have to replace it. But uh, we were driving and had to do an aggressive break and um, was driving after that and started smelling uh, like a burning brake smell. And I didn't know if it was me because we were on the highway or not, but um, I got out and one of your easy tests to see if it's your vehicle having a problem with braking is uh, use the back of your hand and uh, check all of the um, slots. Uh, that's as far as you want to go in but I went all the way around the vehicle in the parking lot and the only one that was hot was this one. Um, this is the driver's rear tire. So I've already removed the hubcap, uh, loosened all the nuts, and then jacked it up. Uh, now I'm going to take the tire off and we're going to figure out why my brakes are getting hot. Most of the time it's repairable without um, spending any money. But with the miles that this truck has on it, it might um, it might be a broken or a stuck uh, piston inside the brake caliper. If that's the case, then uh, we can't repair it. So let's hope it's not that. Hit the top of it and then pull it out. Then it makes a nice chair. Let me see here. So. Okay, so just by looking at it, I can tell that there's a problem. Um, with a brake that's functioning the way it should, there shouldn't be surface rust on it. So I'm going to guess it's the, the pins. And um, still, hopefully, I'm right because that is what I want it to be. That will be the easiest. Um, and the best uh, outcome because <laughs> we can repair that. So I'm going to go grab a couple sockets that are smaller and we'll fit that and I'll be right back with you. Let me show you the close up of what I'm talking about about the surface rust. So my fingerprints just did that. So shouldn't look like that if it's working properly. Um, and then a safety tip. If you're working on a uh, rear wheel drive vehicle or four wheel drive like this one is, but um, if you're working on a rear wheel drive vehicle, know that when you jack up your rear tire, your, um, um, your vehicle's not in park anymore, so to speak. So, um, it will tend to move 
Uh, I've got a jack stand under it, and the jack still. I still got the jack connected, so I'm not worried about it moving. And I'm on a flat driveway, so let me go get those tools. Okay, here's the um, rear brake uh, rotor. Uh, and then the brake caliper, uh, mounting bracket, let me see, there we go, mounting bracket and then the actual brake caliper. This is kind of a basic intermediate video all in one, so some of the stuff I'm going to assume that you know and some I'm going to tell you. But um, right now I'm removing the half inch bolt to get the caliper off of the... Um, caliper bracket and you don't have to go a whole bunch just enough that you can get the brake to let go of the rotor because some pressure is good and normal so there's a half inch on top and a half inch on bottom bolts out take the uh, brake caliper Mail lady stops while I'm out here working, so it's kind of funny. Anyways, put your uh, caliper where it's not going to fall, it's not going to move. I'm um, sorry, out of focus here, or out of frame. But um, just set it up there. And uh, it's a good time to inspect your brakes now, so you have an idea how much life you have left. Uh, it's got a pretty good amount of meat left, so that's good. Or bad because it might be saying that the, the brakes aren't actually working like they're supposed to. So That would be dependent on how many miles you have on them. Okay. Alright, so the pens I was talking about that I want to check. Are these right here? And unfortunately, these are moving good. Yep. So that means the caliper has failed. These are these are the caliper pins. I'll show you what you should do if those pins don't slide in and out easy. Uh, which is what I was hoping it is. Because then that's the free repair. So now I've got to go price a caliper. I might still have warranty on these because I, I know I've done them since I've got the truck and I haven't had it too super long. But anyways, you would buy the Ultra Disc, um, Ultra Disc Brake Caliper Lubricant. It's a green paste. For anybody that's familiar with anti-seize, it's in the same bottle, it's just green instead of the silver or copper or whatever. But what I do is I, uh, I put a thin coat on the end of it. And I only put it on the end 
because when I push it into the boot, it'll push it back. So it'll end up being the whole pin. So you just slide it back in, twist it if you want a little bit, push it in and out, and then there's a groove that this rubber protector, so those don't get weather into them, has on it. And you want to push that groove back into it. So, and then just push it in and out a couple times, test it to make sure you've done it right, and push it in. Should shoot back out by itself. So, that's the repair I was hoping it was. And that's what this video is about, is to make a free repair on a hanging up brake. by my thumb and I'll show you it getting popped in so you can get it in right so it doesn't leak so there we go let me see here there we go all right so that's not right right there you gotta push it further there we go and that's all done and now Twist it a couple times, make sure the lubricant's all over the place. Alright. So, on this caliper, I think, I think I can see why it has failed. Don't know how it happened, but it looks like, and I don't know if the camera can pick this up or not, but, yeah, looks like there's a tear right there. So, that would let water in and everything let this piston rust. But anyways, uh, this video is just for the caliper pins and hoping that was the fix, but uh, it's not. So uh, we'll have another video up soon after we get a new caliper and it'll be showing you how to replace a caliper on a one ton. As always, thanks for watching. Click the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel. You get uh, notifications every time we post a new video. We're trying to do them two days a week. And uh, we throw in a couple other random videos, uh, gaming videos and stuff like that, and in reviews of items. Um, but those are random. So, thanks for watching.